about time. It's a wonder. Calm down. I'm here now. Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me. If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the hog's head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the three broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? I could just burn you and be done with it. I'd like to see you try. You really oughtn't have said that. Are you... Are you burning me? My dear Biscuit. Garnef, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? If it weren't for me, I suspect those poachers would have flayed her alive. Oh, perish the thought. Thank Merlin you were able to save her in time. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I think Biscuit will be safer with me, Garnef. What? No. You can't take my biscuit from me. What will I do without her? Biscuit is clearly not safe with you, and I know how to protect her. Perhaps Ramrock was right about wizard kind, always thinking yourself superior to others. May I never be so unfortunate as to cross paths with you again? What shall I do without Biscuit? Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? Ah, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. But it was my idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell in love with her beautiful plumage. Oh, the cheek! Now what shall I do? Without her feathers, I can't finish any of my fashion designs. You traitorous foul napper. I hope she picks your eyes out. You. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? You were right about how spectacular it is. Which is why it's a pity you didn't find it yourself. You double-crossing cur. I can't believe I told you about the Hall of Herodiana. Oh, I should have waited and done it myself. It would have only been two more years. You don't deserve to possess such an invaluable and historic outfit. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Find us keepers, Grace. I can't believe this! Father's stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artifact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. I knew I should have done the dive myself. Father's wishes be damned.
Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. I quite like the idea of an authentic Mermish artifact. I'm tempted to keep it myself. What? Why would you do that? That gift was a gesture of goodwill, a symbol of hope. I was going to show it to the Ministry. If you really wanted this, then perhaps you should have fetched it yourself. I would, if I knew how to swim. I just hope you haven't set relations between wizard kind and mer people back decades. That's it. I shall definitely need to learn how to swim. Or use a bubblehead charm. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Now that I think about it, Puffskeen Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. Should never have trusted you. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down- Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yes. Finders keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it! You're just as bad as everyone else! I hate this school! You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells! Ah, uh, you look none the worse. Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? <laughs> Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was quite difficult to retrieve. Shouldn't I get a reward for my trouble? Aye, uh, of course I'm happy to pay you. I, I can't afford much. I've promised to pay for all the supplies Milo's daughter will need to attend Hogwarts one day. I don't think you realize the trouble I went to retrieving the watch. Perhaps you can sell it for the girl's supplies. I should never have mentioned the heirloom. Such selfishness. Here is your money, you extortionist. You're no better than Rookwood and his Ashwinders. <sighs> Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? Actually, he's taken a liking to me, so I've decided to keep him. What? He's mine! Oh, I should have faced my fears and gone after it myself. Perhaps you should have. I... I, I can't believe I let this happen. Just take care of him. He'll never love anyone else. Never. May you never have a moment's peace with him. I have decided to open the repository. Its power cannot lie dormant for centuries more. After everything you've seen, what about Isadora's fate? Isadora wasted her ability trying to save people from themselves. I will not let others dictate what I do with this... my power. 
You cannot possibly mean that. You, of all wizard kind, are wholly aware of the misery and pain that that could cause. 